Hey guys, I've got another Gunpla delivery video here. Uh, I just had one just recently. Before that we hadn't had any for a while, but now suddenly we're going to have a few of them. This one uh, is not quite as big of a box. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's in here, but I'm a little bit shocked by its arrival today. Um, this is from Samuel Decal. If, uh, if you guys are kind of new to Gunpla, maybe you don't know who that is, but if you don't know who Samuel Decal is, I highly recommend you uh, find out because uh, he has a website that's like very out of date and he it's like forever under construction but I think if you want to find out what he has for sale just check out his Facebook page and from there you just have to email him anyway uh, great guy I just got the the uh, email from him I think it was like just this morning that this package was uh, being sent and then it just arrived so it either, it either got here uh, from uh, from Hong Kong to Korea in like the span of four hours or uh, his email was just late getting to me to tell me that it's on the way which I guess is probably the case so like I said I'm I know what's in here uh, but I'm just very surprised that it's here right now so first thing is this LED unit uh, now this is the let me just make that nice and pretty again. Got a little smooshed there, that's okay. Uh, this is a Chinese uh, brand. It's basically kind of a knockoff of the Bandai one. Although, uh, had a discussion with, no, a very, very short discussion with my friend Jim at uh, Gunpla Fixation discussing the uh, morality of getting one of these because both of us are against like uh, bootleg stuff. And basically, he gave me the idea we kind of came to the conclusion that this is not really a bootleg but it's basically just like a third party like option set so that makes it pretty okay the other thing that made that's nice about this is that it's around half the cost of the Bandai one and it has a lot more features so uh, maybe I'll do like a full video on this I guess but just to show you quickly uh, here's or maybe I won't do a full video on it I don't know I'll have to think about it but uh, Anyway, here it is. There's our battery pack. This has a remote as well, like so that's pretty cool. You can like play music from this. It has a speaker and like it has a lot more functions than the Bandai one. Here's the USB cable for that. Uh, so it has a lot more functions and stuff that you can do with it than the Bandai one and it's like half the cost. So uh, maybe not half, but quite a bit less anyway. So that's pretty cool. I'm uh, going to either use that now for the Banshee that I'm currently working on or save that uh, for something else. Now, I know I have a few uh, decals coming from him, so I, I need to find those. Maybe are in this box. Uh, and then we have here the Master Grade uh, Hazel Custom from Magic Toys. Uh, really excited to get this. If you guys don't know, uh, I'm a big fan of Advance of Zeta and the Hazel. I think this kit, the proportions on it don't look quite right, but hey, it's a Master Grade Hazel. I'll take that. Like I said, I think I had one or two set of decals coming from him. Right, yeah, here they are. Um, one is a set of decals for the Master Grade Wing Zero that I'm building for a friend of mine, a Wing Zero Custom, I should say, and the other one is a set of decals for the um, Yuma Lightning. Uma Lightning, uh, Zaku 2, high mobility type Zaku 2. I was going to use some of these on my uh, SD Zaku, but I decided against it, so I'm just going to keep these to use on a later kit. They're uh, 144 scale, so I have a like a couple 144 scale like HG Zaku kits to build up. And of course the Zeta, uh, the Hazel comes with its own decals, but I'll do a full unboxing video of course for the Hazel uh, separately so I'm actually gonna film that right away as soon as I'm done with this because I want to unbox it because I want to hurry up and snap it right away. I will say right out the gate though really nice box art. The the box art um, I mean just like the quality of the box seems really nice so uh, that's good. It's a good sign. Uh, very basic all around like the sides, the back, but just the front. I mean just pretty good quality material there it seems like. So that's pretty much it for this uh, delivery. Not a whole lot in there, but some really cool stuff, very exciting things. Yeah, anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I'll see you later.